Okay, wait, wait. What'd you say? I say, see, the the Knight of Pentacles has to do with career or finances. That's what I was saying. Whenever I pull cards for you, it's always about some money shit, and but you're I, always like winning. Money troubles, man. I ain't gonna hold you. I'll be having money. I don't know. Like I don't. I'm so not human that I don't know how to like interact with things. Like I like money is like it's like I don't know how to like. You gotta deify it. I don't. Know, that, I don't know how to fund it. I don't know how to make it. I don't know how to like. You, you, you gotta. I had this issue as well. You have to deify. If you deify it then it's something that you can give an offering to, right? As opposed to like, if you're like, like if, saying I don't have money, if you're not deifying it, it's like I literally um, do not want to go look for the, the, the goddess that has it, right? Or I don't want to talk to them. Mm -hmm. It's, it's kind of how I, I have seen it. Like, so if I'm like, I don't want to talk to them, I'm like, why would I not want to talk to them? Hmm, okay, so you're saying I need to make a deity that deals with money and finances so that it could be more like i'm um, kind of like mystically looking for it like so my boy see don't don't mystify the mundane see i sound so oh. much like arius right now this nigga's looking right, right at me this i can feel it's like i can feel him in the back like over my shoulder like deify a eh? <laughs> he does that but i'm trying to tell you arius has that spirit that's gonna be like nigga like like you're here <laughs> But that's like, where I learned it from. That's what he was. He was essentially telling me, like, that doesn't make sense. Right. Like, how are you not? How are you not getting that? Like, and when when he explained it to me like that, then I was like, yeah, that doesn't really make sense. Like, why would I not have? Think about the things that you do have, right? Like, okay, you don't. Okay. Like, like for me, it's like swag. Like, I never think about not being swaggy. Like, I'm never. You know, I'm never like, oh my god, I don't know how to be swaggy. It's like, be just so, do it. So is it like scarcity versus like abundance? Well, it's, I mean, I, I think you're, it's, it's still abundance because you're attracting scarcity, but like in an abundant way. I don't know, like, I don't know if that made any sense. Okay. Like you have I'm an abundance of scarcity is like what I see. I'm still trying to think about it in my mind to where it's like something I could practically use, right? Because I'm like, okay, did you mean like with, with money, did you mean like I have to create a deity that deals with cur currency? So that or I can it could just be the currency. Like you can just like. Okay, okay. Yeah, it I, doesn't. Yeah, I'm good at that though. I'm good at being the currency because that's what I think about myself as, anyways. Yeah. So if you're like, okay, like, like, um, I don't know. There's there's things that you just don't ever really concern yourself with. Like you never think, how am I going to get up and walk? Like you just do it. Yeah. So yeah. yeah. If you like, you know, you don't go like, how am I gonna get up and walk today? You just like do it. Cause like my. Dad's been calling me money. That's been my nickname ever since I was a kid. He would call me money, 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 money. So it's just like, I still view myself as like, I'm the currency. I'm the thing that's valuable in this exchange, right? I'm the thing. <laughs> he says you need to talk to him and quit playing game. Yeah, don't talk to me. I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> that's so very important, bro. No, but like, I still think of myself as like, I don't have to patronize something if I don't want to patronize it. I don't have to give anything my attention if it doesn't, you know, warrant yeah. it. But you are giving your attention scarcity. Right, hey, right. I mean, right. you are giving scarcity your attention. Yeah, that's true. That's, that's true. But like, though, like on some shadow shit. Yeah. Like, it's yeah. There. Yeah, there's a part of you that is like, this is me. But like, a lot of us are like that. And right. You just have to like understand how you are. Um, how, what role you participate in it and how you're giving it more significance than it than it has right. is, is essentially what it is and when you stop really thinking about it like that he's <laughs> shut your ass up <laughs> anyway that's so funny. yeah you're doing too much you're 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 Right, like your, your your moves are fancy, and I'm sure you've practiced them, right. but you're not utilizing the most efficient strategy to get what you want. Okay, okay. Does that, does that make sense? Like, like it looks cool. Like it looks cool that you're trying hard and shit like that, but you gotta like do less. You gotta have less extra steps. I've literally been trying. This is what I've been trying to do because I was in a mental hospital like a couple of days ago, and I've been oh, trying yeah. to do less. <laughs> I've trying to emulate more of like a, a kind of subtlety about myself that's not so overt right because i can get caught up in like the overt gerald oh my god it's gerald like he's so fucking awesome and he's but you're then, impressed right, right welcome yeah, yeah. welcome to the impressed party <laughs> right 
See, I, I find myself I'm the host. <laughs> I find myself in that, but I'm like, well, that's not really true to who I actually am beyond the physical, right? I'm actually more like subtle in my actions, right? And I'm trying to not be so overt with like what I do to myself to where it's not so blindingly like impressive, right? Because I can get. I think you have to do it and then look at how dumb you look. Right. See. See. And yeah. Yeah. Because if you don't like, that's actually Aries always says this. Like, you have to risk being insane. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I know. And I'm like, I'm so scared. Like, I, when I first, when my mom brought me to the hospital, I was like, Fuck no! I can't do this. Why are you bringing me here? What the fuck is going on? And I'm just like, <laughs> I literally <laughs> to fuck up and go into the hospital and deal with whatever hell hellish scape that I'm, you know, deal, I, created what? that you made up. What is that? My favorite meme, my favorite meme is that, um, where it's like that dude, it, it, you zoom out, or there is two of them. One is the, the guy, is he's looking at a monster, right? But it's like a, a wall that he's hung. It's like the monster, he hung it on the wall and then he's like sleeping under, under a blanket, like afraid of the monster. Yeah. That, that, and then the other one where it's like the guy's getting his face stepped on and then you zoom out and it is, it's his own hand. Right, yeah, that, right, see that whole thing. I've That's been, what you're currently oh. experiencing right now. Push that out. I don't know, like, like turn your your life or your thoughts into that. You know, like um, the Apple gives you like a recap of the shit that you did in the week, and it's just like a bunch of pictures and videos. Okay, and you can kind of see you're like, damn, I was fucking tripping, right? right? <laughs> so I am fulfilling the prophecy. Essentially, is how I see it. Like that is me. Like these, all of my actions are screaming this. Right. And because I want to be crazy so bad, I'm not seeing the stupid shit I'm doing that's putting me in those crazy situations that I'm reacting to. So and when I see what are my actions that I'm taking, then my actions are, um, I was like, well, change your actions. And then you realize, but I like the drama. And, and what it, right, what's the drama? The drama is the story that you created of, about yourself being crazy or being the struggling person. So the new f self-fulfilling prophecy that you want to have is the one where you're winning. Right. But it's boring when you're winning because you're winning. Yes, yeah, and I hate it. I, I hate it so much. Where drama like, is life. Yeah, like, like, give me something else. <laughs> Don't give me a win. Give so me a say, God <laughs> gives his strongest battles to you, whatever. No, he doesn't fucking care about you. You're making it up. Yeah, you're too impressed. Yes. I'm yeah. telling you as a person that is very impressed. I yeah. have a breakdown like at least once a month because of shit that I'd be making up. Right, right. I am very impressed with myself. Yeah. I do try. I try to find the part of me that's like, you're a loser. You're lame. You're you're this, you're that. Yeah. And then you're like, no, I'm not. I, and it's like, yeah. Yeah, you are. But like, just be cool with it. Like, that's the part. Like, when you look back at the dumpster fire that has happened, mm -hmm. um, it's like I said, it's just drama. Like, I literally, I had, uh, I said this last week. I said I was at a, a magic shop and I walked in and there was a psychic and she just started fucking reading me. Like, um, she's like, "What's your name?" I'm like, "Chaos." And she's like, "You're not really that chaotic." And I was like, "Yeah, I am." And then she's like, "Nah, you're just bored." Hold up. Okay. And then it's like all the downloads started happening and she was like, "Yeah, you're just bored." Yeah, um, I can stop talking now if you want. You're making all this up. And I was like, oh, <laughs> fuck. And I hate to catch, you know what's the worst for me? Catching myself in that predicament where it's just like, that oh should, yeah, you're just- should be the best. Or you're just hungry. That should be the best part. Right, it's, for me, because I feel like it's bad, because I, I I have this thing where I'm kind of like watching myself constantly to make sure I don't fuck. You right? do got to talk to areas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I was like, I sounded like you like two years ago. And, and now I'm just fully aware of the drama that I create. And I realize that I'm just not over it yet. Right. <laughs> There's a part of the story that I like about it. And I just have to be cool with that until I don't like it anymore. Hey, yeah, I know. I, it's just like, it's hard for me because I'm just like constantly catching myself slipping. Uh, or like, I think I'm catching myself slipping, but it's just, it's just me cringing and I'm doing it now. Like, I'm like, yeah, you just got it. But you, you get to the point where you're not cringing anymore. Like, hey. that's that's where I'm at. Like, I used to cringe. Like, I like I said, I had a blow up on Tuesday. Like, last week, I had a fucking blow up. And I was like, oh my God, it's so bad. And I was like, you do this every fucking time, bro. Every fucking time, you know, this is going to piss you off. You do the shit anyway. What the fuck? Like, right. stop being a little bitch. 
you want to do this, shut up. Just, just shut the fuck up, Kelvin. Like, quit it, or you know, or just deal with it. Like, that's what it is. And and I guess the the part that's hard to reconcile is that it is your fault. Yeah. And we want to blame it on other niggas, but it ain't no other niggas. It's really just you. <laughs> Me, it's always like I'm so critical of myself because I know that it's just me, right? And, and I catch myself. That's the that's the subtlety. That's what I'm saying. He'll tell you that even the being critical part is a part of the drama that'll allow you to jump back into the drama again because it's it's a it's a. He'll say the the ego is subtle. He'll say that, and you have to still understand that that's your ego again. Your right. spirit would not talk to you that way because right. your spirit knows you are making the decisions, right? So it doesn't even make sense. It's not a good or bad thing. Yeah. You, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like, oh. This motherfucking spirit is just looking at you like, really? Yeah, because yeah, I, I find myself oh. <laughs> spirit, right? And then like ego or shadow or it or super ego or persona will creep up on me and I'll be like, well, that's not necessarily who I am in this moment. Huh? And the but, motherfucker's like, yeah, it is. Because right. that's, that's what you're doing. Like, that that's I, essentially I, what, how you know it right. is. And I find myself with the drama, too. I find that I want to cut the drama out of my no, life. No, you don't. <laughs> <laughs> if, you would, if you did, you would. It's really that simple. You know what? That <laughs> Trust me, from a dramatic-ass nigga, I, guess, I know I, I don't have to do this shit. But I still find a, a way to be like okay i'm not being so dramatic like i find in my mind when i'm being like i think i am being dramatic but it's still like i i find a way uh, i find a way to convince myself to where i'm like this isn't so dramatic this is peaceful it this is, is no, this is no this nah fuck. that's fake as fuck oh, you, you're the love and light nigga no, <laughs> like, like, that's what it is that's love and light nigga shit we don't do that over here we take accountability just, I, just take your L, bro. <laughs> oh, man, see? Ah. <laughs> That's stop trying to win. win. That's what he's always saying when he says stop trying to win. There is no winning. You don't win this shit. Uh, you lose. It's game uh, lose already uh, over, uh, bro. I find a way to convince myself of like, okay, I'm a winner. I'm not a no. loser. I'm not. I'm <laughs> <laughs> <Nah>. <laughs> I'm like, like, I'm saying this as a guy, like, I do it. I Like, like if this is a conversation I have with myself. I say the same shit. I'll be like, nope, not, not, mm -mm, not. You're doing the game. You're playing the Kelvin game again. I like the Kelvin game. Be honest with yourself. I, the reason why I like the Kelvin game is because I've been playing so long, I think I should win something by now. Right. That is the truth. See, oh my goodness. I find right. this a problem. But you don't win that way. You win the other way. But you're like, but this one's harder. Like, you see what I'm saying? It's like, if I, if I fucking like let you win in mortal kombat you would not want that win you you right. feel like you have to beat me on hard level right hey yeah that's me that's me yeah yeah right sure. but what do you win you don't win shit by doing it on hard mode no really glory what the fuck is glory that shit isn't real like you know what i'm saying like there is no glory there is just do it the way you like doing it right and that's why we do the other shit that we do that's why we no what? I, shut up! <laughs> Nobody fucking asked you yet. It's not your turn. God damn it! <laughs> He's just me right now. Like literally, I'm talking to myself. Like I'm literally like I had this conversation with myself all week. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. No, he's giving you hero cookies in the in the comments. Him? No, he's not. No, he <laughs> better not be. I don't want your goddamn hero cookies. Tell me. Okay. He, he said Kelvin with the clap emoji. He's like, hero cookies. Uh, yeah, I don't want none of that. <laughs> 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 don't, yeah, don't feed this nigga. He already, he, he doesn't need any more hero cookies. Any, any subtle side of, side of a win, if I, yeah, any subtle win, I'm like, see, I'm winning. Nah, I have to, no, I can't accept anybody's thanks or praise or none of that shit. It goes to my head and I start getting delusional about shit that I deserve, that I did not fucking work for. Like, I'm fully aware of my psychosis. Yeah. <laughs> I know what type of crazy I am. I know exactly what the fuck this nigga likes to do. Right, that's that's pretty cool. <laughs> but yeah, like, I'm impressed. <laughs> Uh, yeah, that's the growth. That was that what I was saying. That was the growth. I'm not triggered because I know what the fuck this nigga is now. I get it. Like, I did not want to know before because I w thought I wasn't in control. I thought it was something. But it was like, who's not? if I'm not in control, who the fuck's in control? Right? Like, somebody else is walking me around, but I don't like to be bullied. But, the, you know what I'm saying? I was like, 
Make it make sense, Kelvin. Right. Make it fucking make sense. <laughs> Gerald in that in that whole idea sphere of like, uh uh-uh, uh, it's not nobody else. It's you, nigga. We don't we don't get this accountability right. But then I'd be looking for a trophy, like you said earlier. I'd be looking for oh, like too. some you, sometimes you just have to give it to yourself without a reason. You don't need a reason. Just fucking give yourself the trophy. Just be like, I'm being lazy today. I'm jacking off all day. Right, right. I don't need a reason. I don't need to like, I don't need an extra step. Oh, you did this. Or somebody, you did something nice for somebody today. Give yourself, fuck that. I'm doing it anyway, because if I don't, I'm going to cry like a little bitch. I already Thank know that. Thank you. Thank you so fucking much. See, that's what I'm trying to say. Thank you, because I literally do that just to like i i feel like there's supposed to be something else like i'm looking for something else constantly to like get me to the next level right but it's always like i find myself at exactly where i left off like i never <laughs> like I, i'm always it's just in square one thinking that i'm like walking around but it's literally i'm just walking on square one that's me like, that's why that's why i'm roasting you so fucking hard i'm sorry i'm that's- not sorry but i'm like I what am I gonna had this happen I, to me all week? What am I actually gonna do if somebody roasts me? Like, what am I gonna? Like, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like, <laughs> am I gonna fight somebody? Like, am I gonna just actually see? I would, and that's that's even dumber. Because you're not actually here in my physical space right now. Like, not even that. Like that. I see, no, no, I'm saying I would I would fight somebody else. I'd be like, look here, little kid. <laughs> tired of your shit and i don't even physically like with fisticuffs like i would just throw shade at them in a weird way and now i'm like creating all this weird energy around people mm-hmm. yeah and i realize when other people are doing that that's what they're doing and i'm just like i'm matching energy but i'm just being petty like everybody's right. fucking petty. yeah I, that's the mystifying the mundane aspect that i try to get away from in my own mind because i'm just like it'll it'll land me back in a mental hospital to where i don't even know what reality is anymore so it's just there like, is none that's what right. it is because it isn't what you think it is it's there's the two versions i wouldn't even say there's two versions there's everybody has their own version but there's like the version that you are trying to get away from mm. right and then there's your version but right. it's really only ever your version Right, right, right. And when we start going like day and shit like that, we're we're in the the mundane version, and we're like, I am mystical, but you are mundane. You're still mystifying the mundane. Right. Like you're trying to participate in their game. You want to win their game. Right. You took yourself. You you made yourself look better, right? By being like, well, I'm so mystical, so right. you don't have to play their game. But you secretly are just mad because they won't let you play. So you're trying to make yourself look better, yeah. so they let you play. Um, and then you don't. Even- even leave square one in that aspect because you, you feel like you're going somewhere and you're not <laughs> you're just in the same pot position like i am right now <laughs> we're the same nigga thank you for coming to my TED talk hey no problem man i'm always here to listen right always here to listen. So next card the knave of pinnacles right When you're doing that, you're like, okay, I'm gathering all these tools to be able to do this, but I don't know how to utilize them. You right. need to put forth some type of plan. And like I said, a plan and planning doesn't end. Like I have the tendency, I'll write out a plan, like physically write out a plan, but then not execute it. Okay. So it's not necessarily, so, and I do that to, again, mystifying the mundane. But what right. you, you could do is when you're, even planning is just being intentional with what you're saying. So if I'm saying I have a plan, what steps am I taking to to rectify my problem of being, you know, like having issues with money? Like first, that first thing you could do is stop saying I have issues with money. That's mm-hmm. like the main thing you can do in the in the first part of your plan. Stop saying that shit and mean it. Okay. Right? Because I don't say I got problems with white folks because I don't. Right, right. You, you know what I'm saying? I don't have problems with other niggas because okay. I don't. Like, is it like the I don't al- have problems with the, huh? Is it like the alcoholic thing where you have to like admit the problem before you like Right. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, because you're you're essentially otherwise you're not realizing your role that you play in it. Like right. by constantly reaffirming it, mm-hmm. there's no way in hell somebody's just gonna give you ten thousand dollars one day and be like, "Hey, by the way, you know, um, I see that you're struggling a lot, bruh." You, you would still <laughs> think of it like you're scarce. You would, you would, once you get it, you would be like, "Oh, I only have ten thousand dollars now." You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Like you're always gonna have some type of issue if you don't correct the scarcity mindset that you have. Right. Okay. And <clears throat> in my case, it starts appearing so much that you can't ignore it. Like because I was like, if you are a high level conjurer, like you think you are, 
right. then the manifestation of your thoughts does come real like fast so when you start losing money or when you start having the issues that you're having that's essentially your magic is working is what i think right oh, there. and it's not that's it's like i've heard this before like i've heard this kind of like, damn bro you're a master conjurer you're broke as hell that's great for you right, right. <laughs> like uh right you gotta have to look on the bright side i guess I it's know. not even the bright side it's, it's how i see it is accuracy i think it like i don't think of things good or bad i think of things in terms of like if i speak this way that I, like google if you type in not elephant porn in google what are you going to get elephant porn exactly because google does not understand not whoa that's kind of it's kind of sick yeah I'm, I'm catching so, yeah that. so it's like if i ask you what you want to you tell me what you don't want you just tell me what you do want right okay okay and okay. i say what do you All want right. you say i don't want to be broke i hear i am broke right right okay i get that i get that because i right so for me for me my struggle is like having the the past gerald who's not so honest with like the way that he uses his words kind of like trying to creep up into my mind like my conscious mind kind of like ruin things so i feel like i'm constantly like that's why when i was talking to Arius, i described gerald as like a monkey on my back right and when i described that right he kind of made it into like okay well maybe this is the monkey king energy right so i kind of started working with that kind of hanuman kind of like kind of purging my evil like younger self who would like lie i would lie for like no fucking reason i would literally like make up shit but see you're saying evil right like it <laughs> you're making it like a bad thing but like try not to, to you're christianizing it in that way right okay, okay. right yeah, yeah. raised christian right I yeah was raised yeah so you you saying that that energy is evil it's it's more so what it does like like i said whenever you're looking up spirits like they're not good or bad they're just they just that's just the energy those are the traits that they have right. is that they would lie you can always utilize those things to your favor if you're not letting it use you but you are you're allowing the shit to use you okay and it's like i do this with my like i have a, a entity we call the brat right and okay. essentially the brat is is leading me in 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 all of my emotional interactions and okay. i could utilize the brat but i don't i let the brat run me <clears throat> right. so once i realized that i was like see i don't even like using the brat because the brat is not as effective as my other deities it doesn't have the same skills okay so I was like, I might have used that when I was younger because that's what I knew to use. And there's other times where I was, it's like having the right tools. Like I'm not going to use a fucking screwdriver to hammer in a nail. Right. Right. So you, if you utilize them as tools, like when would it be appropriate for me to use that? Then you'll find I've just been using it for everything. I've kind of been using it for like an all purpose tool instead of like when I actually need to use it. And you're like, that's the only tool I know because that's the one you're the most comfortable with. You haven't developed any other relationship with the other Geralds inside of you. Mm, okay, 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 cool. So I need to get more like friendly with them as opposed to like making, like being controlling. Cause I feel like I'm controlling of you just You're being Christian. You're, you're like right. shaming them. You're like, oh, that one's not good. That one's not good. Oh my God, fuck that one. And I'm like, they're just there. They're already there. You might as well get used to them. But that's right. what's causing the psychosis is that like the internal shame Cause I feel like I oftentimes like am a, ch a channel for the other Geralds to like have fun and explore themselves, right? But it's always like that kid form of me that's like, like, like in the deepest part of my shadow that's like, I'm ashamed, I'm a loser, I'm, I'm worthless. And, and that's just not even his voice. It's like his mother's voice, right? It's his dad's voice that are like over him, kind of like policing his actions. Yeah. So yeah, kind of so you gotta get in there. You gotta you gotta deep dive and be like, why do I want like I create right? You're like I'm a master conjurer. I create my my world and all of that shit, okay. right? And then you would put your mom there. What? Right. What? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Right, right, right. Respectfully, like, not that your mom's not the shit or anything. I'm just saying, like, like I had to do that, too. I was like, what the fuck is this bitch here for? You know? Like, right, because I'm like, I don't want you in my party. I don't want you in my That's party. what I'm saying, yeah. I was like, I want strippers and shit. So, like, they, she can't come because she's going to hate on it, right? Like, so, and I don't want that. So, you got to bounce. It's in my 
dinner, nigga. <laughs> no, that's a loaded, that's a loaded squad. But yes, if you saw that. Woo! Yo. What's up? Yo. How's it going, man? Man. Can you hear me okay? Yeah, it's great. Yeah, it, bro. Look, I'm gonna have to give you some help because you might even burn me. Like for real, for real. Cause yeah, you know, it's hard for me to convey to people what I help them with, and you know, being able to see it come out of you, and you know, not even that, just not even come out. Cause niggas, we can, niggas repeat my shit all the time, but like you being, being able to recognize it in somebody else in a way where you're not triggered and angry at it, and then in front of niggas too, like what? Oh, I was oh, like, if they, nah, I, I appreciate. I, I was thankful for him because I had wanted to do it on on a Church of Chaos episode. But it's like for me, I need the catalyst sometimes because it's like I can't even recollect all the things that I slay myself on in the moment because it's subtle, right? Because it's because because it's subtle. It becomes a way of life. Yeah, be, but. It's so I have to see a dude do it and and tell him like no that's what you're doing I literally just did this I was like I just did it the other day I had to do it this way and I have to tell you that's what you're doing because I saw it I was like that's like you know if I see you about to walk in the street if you're my nigga and I just let you do it mm. not really your homeboy mm. or, it, or I think that you won't it's learn even, any other way it's even more intimate than that it's like it's like you walk up to a nigga and you can see this nigga shit his pants. And not only, you, you walk up and you're like, bro, I shit my pants too. Like, look, I got shit on my pants. And like, a nigga wouldn't listen to you if you, like, if you just walked up and told him he shit his pants, he'd have been like, nah. But because you walked up and said, bro, look, I got shit on my pants. Like, come on, I can tell you shit on your pants. Yeah, yeah. You know, like that, like, he <laughs> can connect with the shit. Yeah, that, that's, because that's how I felt in that moment. I was like, there was a time where I would have been triggered when, and that's how I know that I'm still in the shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, when I'm, when the drama is still there, I'm like, Yes, I shit on my pants, but you're shit more. There's more shit on your pants. <laughs> and like, you know, like, <laughs> that conversation that I had earlier when I realized how hard I score keep, I was like, but I don't score keep like you do. And hearing how much of a kid I sounded, and how I was like, if I want to maintain any relationship, peacefully it's not about them what they're doing it's about me and maintaining my own peace so i'm like okay if i don't have peace with you i definitely don't have peace internally that's the math of it is how i started thinking there you go you, you gotta you gotta work on yours because once you get yours it, it, it'll only be a matter of, of whether or not there's somebody you're compatible with because before, yeah. before and you can't even be compatible with nobody because you ain't really a thing. You just out here doing whatever. Exactly. You know, reacting. Yes, and that's right. So I'm like, like, so I had to really deep dive into that because, like I said, I ended up having a fight with my girl this week, and and like out of all the girls I've ever had a fight with, like I'll be like, you could go, Ben, you know, and I'll feel good about that. But I never <laughs> learned how to move through the conflict of what I did. I'm always justifying, like, well, you did this, so I did this, Ooh. right? Mm -hmm. And that doesn't really mm -hmm. get me to see, because I'm like, what if they didn't do it? Like, what if they did that anyway? And you don't, you don't move past the emotional reaction to see where you don't react when you don't react. And and remember, I was telling you, I've been kindergarten teaching, right? So mm -hmm. there's a kid who will do something on purpose to agitate the fuck out of you, and if you re react, he will do it again. But if mm -hmm. if I no sell it, if I just act like I didn't, and then not even like act like I don't see it because that's still saying I acknowledge that this yeah. behavior is bad but what, what mm -hmm. I'll do is I'll say come over here why did you do that he already knows what he did was fucked up because of how, because of how I asked him so I don't have, have to tell him as a <laughs> yeah, teacher voice all boy. yeah I was like why did you, did you do that and then he'll be like because I was being bad I'm like so you know you're being bad but whereas if I challenged him and I said, why are you being bad? He would say, I'm not being bad. And I realized that mm -hmm. defense, what you were saying, like people get defensive because, you know, having them acknowledge what they're doing, it creates the shame. And I had to feel the shame mm -hmm. in myself to see it like, well, of course they're going to feel shame. I feel shame when, when somebody approaches me like that. So I cannot keep approaching people in a way that is shaming them for them being what they are. I have to approach them 
with a way of, mm -hmm. of teaching them. Mm -hmm. And I was like, oh, I, right, and Kay, and Shayla said parenting, and I was like, see, I don't parent myself. I'm always expecting somebody to parent me. Yeah. And that's but why see, I was. I want, to, I want to talk to you about shame. Yeah. Because what you're saying, what you're saying about shame is completely correct. But I want to talk to you about the other side real quick. Because um, I know you have you have somewhere to be. Yeah. Um, the shame has a utility too. Okay. Because I, I know the, the 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 general you know feeling is to run away. You know I don't want to have to deal with shame. Like I shouldn't. I should never be shamed. But like what shame is, and which is why it's useful, is is shame is a marker that you're doing something against the, your your ideal self. It's like a uh, it's like a, a, a it's like you feeling you're breaking the contract with your ideal self, and you know it. Like, that's what shame is, you know? And so, it, it, it has its utility, just like the child. That's why he felt the shame. Because he knew he knew what he was doing was bad, on purpose. You know, so shame has its utility. So, it, it, there's a culture now of, of running away from shame, but it has, has its utility if you're actually trying to be somebody who's not just a piece of shit. Yeah. Yeah, exa exactly. But you have to find it because the first reaction is to run. Be and what I felt the reason why is because nobody else is doing it. Nobody else is uh, coming out here like, I'm wrong too. Like you said, like, first, you're like I'll stand up first. You know, like, like you know, when, when people are like, we'll take your volunteers to go home early. I'm like, me? Right. And I do that to, to start the ball rolling, right? Every, every, like any instance, I'll do that. Like if I'm at the comedy club, you know, I'll sit in the front because I'm like, I'm trying to to um, enhance the energy of the evening. And if everybody's mm -hmm. acting too cool to play around with the comedians, then they're not going to have a good show. Mm -hmm. And the audience doesn't exactly. understand that they are just as much a part of the show as the guy telling the jokes. Like mm -hmm. nobody that gets up in front of jokes thinks they're not funny. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Even if they're not, they don't think that. Yeah, 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 yeah you got, you got yeah. to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. You do it properly. Yeah. yeah, so when you, you go on, you kind of just give them the energy. Like, that amplifies whatever their feelings are. So I feel that way with, um, like, shame especially because it's more of a, um, a, you know, quote, unquote, negative, you know, thing. So it was like what you said when I say, look, I got shit on my pants too, but I'm not making it a big deal. Like, saying, like, well, you have more shit. I'm not even saying I have mm -hmm. more shit. I'm just saying I also have shit. Let's take this walk to the bathroom together and everybody can point that laugh at us. I'm not going to respond to this shit because I already know I have shit on my pants. So they're only telling me shit I already know. They all have shit on their pants too, but they're not admitting it. We are. Right, the, fun are fun the funny thing about, like, um, what was it? Damn, I forgot it. Smoking. Whatever. Fuck me. Oh, no. This was the thing. The funny thing about doing the thing where you go like, um, well, you got more, like, you have to subtly admit that you have shit on your pants to do it. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Not, like, oh, wait a second. Did he just say he also has shit on his pants? That's what I hear. Yeah, exactly. Like, like motherfuckers are doing the thing where they, they try and justify, like, like I said, Sam's telling you, like, uh, hey, Kelvin, um, you, 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 uh, uh, you stepped on my toe when we did the guitar session last week, and instead of actually admitting it, you do the thing like, um, uh, what's the thing? Give me a go. You'll do the thing like, um, you'll try and justify stepping, like why you, why you did what you did. Like, well, uh, well, well, well someone that was pushing me, or the energy was really high. Like, you're admitting that you did the thing as you you justify it. Yes. You know, like that's what people who justify don't realize they're doing while they try and justify. Right. Is that there? You're admitting. And see, and I am mad when when that happens. Like I said, I was like, don't you hear that you just did that? And then that makes me <laughs> recoil more. <laughs> right. <laughs> and like I said, I don't. I clearly don't have patience for myself because I'm doing the same thing. If I did that, I was like, oh my god, oh my god, I'm such a horrible person. And then I'm projecting that on them. So when I'm angry at somebody, I'm always thinking I'm really just angry at myself. And yes. I'm just projecting on them. Yes. And they're, you know, they're feeling the anger that I have towards myself for making the same decision. So I realized that Perfect. being more compassionate towards myself, which I'm not, I, I don't like doing it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it, it, it. It makes you feel weak because, you know, it's easy to be compassionate for other people because you don't know their apocrypha. 
you don't know the wicked, terrible things about them like you know about yourself. Yeah. And that's what, like, you know, you know, people nonchalantly say everyone's a reflection of themselves. Like, this is what they, they, this is exactly what they mean. Like, this is part of the reason you were able to tap into, to, uh, uh, my man Venus Vegetables. <laughs> so easily because you could, you, you weren't, you weren't afraid of your own reflection anymore. Yeah. And you could actually engage it. Not even, not even something that you weren't afraid, but could engage it. You know, so the whole, everyone's a reflection of, of, of you isn't a defense. It's a, it's a, it's an actual working that you have to do. You know, so uh, that's why I can appreciate being able to see your progress. Thank you. Because yeah, it's no small thing to me. Because I have a difficulty articulating that progress to people as you know, this is a, this is what you're going to get. You know, but you know, it's it's, it's to see it's like, it in action to, is, is beautiful. I think you have to see it from a point outside of yourself because you're like, I can see how it helps me, but they can't see how it helped you because they didn't know the original you. But a lot yeah. of people have got to yeah. see me <laughs> develop since they have, <laughs> I've been with you. Mm -hmm. like, mm -hmm. like a lot of people mm -hmm. remember what I was like. I was a bitch ass nigga and I was in denial about this shit. <laughs> and then there was a point where I was faked. Right, right. I yeah, but yeah. Okay, there was a point where I faked was that I was faking that I was it, like aware. Where I would just mm -hmm. say it, right? Mm -hmm. So so niggas would stop saying it to me. <laughs> yeah, it was right down to the surface. Yeah. So, so, so they would stop saying it to me. Right? Mm -hmm. Like as a defense mechanism. Like, I already know I'm a bitch ass mm -hmm. nigga. Don't tell me how, though. Mm hmm. Right? Exactly. And it, it would help you mask the fact that that was actually there. Yeah, so I never had to do the work, right? Mm -hmm. So, like, every time, mm -hmm. like I said, it would, I have to wait until, like, other people know this. Right, they know when they meet me. They know what my triggers are, and I'm lying about them. So <laughs> to <hard>. yourself. <laughs> yeah, I'm lying about it. I'm like, no, I'm not triggered. 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 Fuck you! <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck you, Kelvin, bro. <laughs> right, and then it's and it's funny. It's, it takes all you niggas to be like, oh, you're still doing that again. I'm like, no, I'm not. No, I'm not. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. And then I would cry and I'd be like, I'm never gonna get this. I'm never gonna, and then, right? And like I said, sure enough, Shayla ends up sending me a self-fulfilling prophecy, um, like podcast yesterday. And it was like some, you know, bitch that with the fingernails that he, with the click clacks and all that shit. And I was like, man, she don't know what the fuck she's talking about. I'm not gonna listen to this. <laughs> but, but I did anyway, cause she asked me, right? <laughs> like, if she does that shit, if I say, hey, go listen to this, she'll go listen to this. Even if she don't get it or whatever, she'll, she'll do it. So I was like, all right, I'm going to go do this. And it was like one of the first things she said, like I said, was a self-fulfilling prophecy. It's like, what are you saying to yourself and why do you say that? And I had never heard it before. I would have never listened to what I was saying to myself before, um, you know, I have this big blow up because I'm always justifying what I'm saying. So I'm not exactly. listening to myself. We said I'm listening. Yeah. I'm saying like, I'm not yeah. listening. I'm a, it's like almost like yeah. a fucking autopilot. You know, like the story has been the same story yes. for so long that, you know, if you ask me like, what, why do you have an attitude? I'm like, cause I'm from South Central. You know what I'm saying? Which negates all of <laughs> <the spirit. laughs> You give them the template email. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Ah. To whom it so, ex exactly. <laughs> Essentially, yeah. I'm not oh, really, like, like, yeah, like, like, I'm, I'm not giving them a reason. I'm more so, like I said, just justifying, like, because I don't want to deal with it. Is essentially what I'm saying. Well, uh, you are like, right, taking a sip of your own Kool Aid. Yeah, but in other ways, oh, like, we're remember we were talking remember. the other day, and you were kind of pissed off at me. That also, I mean, you weren't pissed, but you, you, you seemed disappointed. <laughs> which, which you are frequently, and and uh, usually I, I just be like, you know what, I'm never gonna uh, gonna um, impress this nigga, and, and and because I be thinking about doing it so much is why it never happens. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> right. So, and and like yesterday, today I was just like, fuck this guy, like. You know, like, fuck, fuck him. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'll avoid saying shit. I used to avoid saying shit. I was like, let me, get in. let me not get into that, because this nigga's over here. Yes. Yes. And now, like, today, I was like, man, what are you going to do? Tell me I'm a bitch-ass nigga. I already know. 
Uh, yeah, like, I feel like the dick, like, the eight mile nigga. You know, like, like, <laughs> you know, in, in, in eight mile, like, oh, yeah, 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 Oh, that, yes, man. That's where I was at. I was like, okay, oh. I finally realized I'm dramatic as shit. I love my own fucking God, drama. Listen, listen. I put myself in this in this bullshit because oh. that, obviously that's what the fuck I like because I keep doing the dumb shit. And um, funny <laughs> shit, I ended up like I said, I I ended up doing these um these affirmations. And the point of me doing the affirmations wasn't on some like, oh, I need to chant. But I realized that um. I need to re replay what messages I play in my head over and over every day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I needed to change them because I was like, well, I wake up every day and I will say, oh man, I need to make some money. Oh man, I ain't, I ain't got it today. Oh man, oh man, everything's oh man, oh man. So I'm like, what if mm -hmm. it's like you already got it? Why don't you ever say that? And that's and that's. <laughs> Right, I was like, like, yeah. That's why I was telling <laughs> old, old boy Venusia. I was like, you don't say, oh, I, I get, I can't walk to the store today. You just do it, right? So I was like, you are now mystifying the money. Mm -hmm. Nobody's gonna oh. understand me. I am just not understandable. And it's like, be understandable. Like, you know, make the change. Be, be what the fuck you're trying to be. And if you, like you said, if the person's not compatible, leave the situation alone. Go to more compatible situations. But to, to constantly be doing the same shit over and over again and then be wondering why the fuck shit don't go your way is dumb as hell. <laughs> Pretend wondering. Pretend wondering. Act like you really don't know. You know what? Why? Why? why is he doing this? But yeah, like, that shit was fucking dumb for me. But in the big... The big thing, the reason why you don't get up and, and say that like you should, uh, because you made a wonderful point when you were talking to him uh, about how when people just do these, these template affirmations and say it over and over, what they're actually doing is saying the opposite. And they're saying, wealth and abundance will come to me. Wealth and abundance will come to me. You're saying that for the last three weeks. At this point, it's, it's the opposite. You're, you're, you're circling around the fact that you're broke as opposed to actually affirming. But yes. the reason motherfuckers yeah. don't wake up and think like you just suggested, why don't we do that? The reason you don't is because of the narrative we have ourselves in. The narrative of their particular humanity, their personal humanity. The narrative, like, like let's say when you're waking up like that, the Kelvin that you, you went to sleep as or that you think of yourself as is, I'm the Kelvin who's a starving artist, blah, 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 you yes. know? And yes. you, it, you, overlooking all the benefit that has. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Uh, if, you, if, 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 if the Kelvin you knew yourself as was different, I mean, yeah, he's going to struggle for the first few days being the new Kelvin, but if it was the Kelvin who, who quote unquote, had the audacity and you know, the first few days are going to be interesting to experience, but that Kelvin wakes up with that thought and he doesn't have to question whether or not he does. Yes. You know what I mean? Yes. You know? Yeah. So when yeah, I was yeah. reprogramming the, these new, like this affirmation, I was like, what is not there that I want to think? So I was like, I didn't even know what to think instead of what I was thinking. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? No, I love that. I love that. I love the intricacy of that. That was wonderful. Yeah, because I was like, because I was <laughs> like, no, it's a real, it's a real problem, and it's hard to articulate. Yeah, how because you're a feelings person, and I love that. I love that you can take your feelings and articulate them that way. Thank That's you. Perfect. Yeah, because yeah, I yeah I was thinking that I was like I don't even know what to say. I was like I will wake up and be like you're not an easy person to talk to, and I would be like why, Ooh. why, why do you say that? Why do you want that to be your life? So when I started to look at these new things, I was like looking at um, like a uh, heal relationship. That's what I thought. Cause I was like, well, I need all of this in all relationships. Cause I was like, in my mind, I think no one understands me. But meanwhile, I have a gang of niggas <laughs> that jump on my page every fucking Tuesday to listen to me talk about jack shit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> 
<laughs> in the building, so, nigga. So it can't be that way. I can't live that narrative. And at the same time, because now I'm disrespecting y'all for tuning into what I'm saying. Ooh. Ooh. Thank you. Right? And I was oh, like, I damn, that. I hate all these niggas, apparently. Right? <laughs> I'm saying it. I'm saying it. <laughs> yeah. Right? I was like, fuck all you guys. None of your time is worth anything. Because it's not what I want. What do you want then, Kelvin? Like, what is going to satisfy you? Thank you. Right? Yeah. Yes. So, so that's why I was like, all right, um, you need to change that thought. And I was like, I do have people that come every Tuesday to listen to me talk. I have people who want to see me play lovely music. I have people that want me to watch their kids. I have people that want me around them in this way because I must be making their lives easier. So I cannot live that narrative anymore. So I did start to yeah. reprogram re, um, and use other things to get different ideas about how I will replace those affirmations with my own because it's only going to mean something to me if I customize it. Yeah. But I have to hear oh, my wait, wait, wait. Here's the best tip I can give you. Um, as you start to come at it, because uh, try not to think of it as a singular affirmation you're going to say semantically, like with words. Think about it like this. Start to come up with a collection of things and bring them all, all together in a simple that way you don't even need words. You start with the words because that's what you're used to. You know, we frame our thoughts in words. Um, but then bring the words together in a symbol. That's what you can do with like people do sigils. You can take, yeah. uh, let's, say you have, let's say you have three phrases you come up with that, that sort of get where you want, but don't really hit it. You know, at least three, right? Um, you take like two letters from each of them and then take all that six, that collection of six letters and make a symbol. Damn. Yeah. You won't even have to say shit. You won't even have to say shit. And you just right. I'm telling you, it's so. And that's basic shit. I'm telling you, it's so so much you can. Do. I love this. Damn. I feel like I feel like a proud father, and I don't I don't mean that in a way like telling you a little nigga and no shit like that. Like no, I, like, I, was, uh, I mean, I, niggas I, want I, me to come to them like they mama, and I don't want to do that because what niggas need is some daddy shit. And you yeah, know, because that's gonna mi you're gonna it, miss it. Don't point. Yeah, yeah, you gotta get in there and be like, clean exactly. your room, clean your room, and then you're not actually learning it because I had to tell you to do it. But if you do it on your own, and then you get like it's like when you learn how to ride the bike and you're just out there hoping they make it, like, come on, <laughs> come on, come on, <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> Yeah, so that's how I felt about so him. I, I felt that about him when he was saying yeah. it. Yeah. Like that's the that's the, that's masculine shit right there. Because see, nature makes women uh, girls women. All right, she don't get that blood whether or not she like it or not. But men make boys into men, and that that spark that can look that that connection, electricity between it, whatever. Like you know, like that's the shit. That that's masculine shit. Like that's how we convey. And that's the effect. I'm like, it's, it's hard to convey that idea, but that's what it is. Like that, like it goes from me. Like we ain't even that much different ages. Like, but it's it's it, it, it's there. Oh my god. Yeah. I'm sorry, Kevin. I'm excited. No, no, that's good. I was like, I, I was like, I'm not gonna lie. I was like, I'm a little excited too because I know you were just like, fuck him. Like, like literally yesterday, you had to fucking log off because I said some shit. <laughs> <laughs> well, it wasn't even because you said some shit. It's because I slayed myself way too hard, and it's like you know I'm used to slaying myself, and I cut an artery and didn't realize it. And I was like, oh my god, I'm bleeding out. I have to stop this right now. Like, yeah, yeah, <laughs> because no. really evaluating, you know, my my how I'm perceived, how I can be perceived, you know, how I can say things, and just kind of putting it all together, you know, because dialogue is is is, is it's healthy for that. You know, yeah. to, to clear up your, with your thinking. And I, I hit an artery and I didn't realize and I was like, damn, I have to. I was, like, I was like, actually, I was like, hold up, my girl is in the room, right? And I was like, I wanted to tell her because I, I was like, I needed her to hear this. I was like, essentially, I realized that I would, I would get upset at her because I'm not always. Remember, I said I don't articulate as well as I thought I did, that I just use a lot of words. And word salad and the fancy word salad yeah and she and she's like that's too many words and in my mind i'm thinking like 
well, you just don't understand then, right? And she's like, no, you're just talking too fucking much. Just like, keep, give me the fucking, <laughs> you know, the cliff notes, like, give me the spark notes. Yes. <laughs> and then it's all like, come up with bigger words and shit. And longer diatribes, like, look at this video. You're just not understanding me. And I was like, but I never said to her, you understand me. You know what I'm saying? I've, I've never like confirmed like we understand each other like that's why we're together anyway is because we already have this connection of understanding so i am now yeah. choosing to not understand you and then she is basically going off of what i'm going off of so now i'm the leader i'm leading the conversation and i'm leading the conversation into not understand town right and now i'm mad because she don't know how to get it out of there right <laughs> Even though I'm the driver, yeah. you see what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm like, yeah, 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 no, no, no. right. So that's, that's part of the reason I, I really appreciate dialogue and and the debate, especially because where you start is where you both have a thing that, that you come together on. Like that's what helps with with conversations where people are understanding you. Find somewhere where they do understand you and, and move the, from uh, there. Because like, yeah, and get the yes. Yeah, well, not yes. even the affirmation. Yes. It, it was, well, because that was well, that that too, but but. It, it gives you ground to 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 get to a place where you understand because if, if both of you are there and you you don't understand each other, it's like you're just floating in the air. Yeah. But if you can find somewhere where you can both put your feet down and then build from the air, that that brings the whole thing together. And see, especially with males, we have to have that skill because that's what we're called to do to organize our, not only our own life but our home. You know. Yeah. Right, and, and that's another thing I said, I did not want that. Remember how I've been saying this to you for fucking years, that I did not want to be dad? Remember I kept saying that shit? <laughs> how, I was trying to be, how I was trying to be the uncle, how I try to like, just I just want to drop it. I want to be like the brother that just drops in and gives you a gift and then goes away to war and shit and, and don't got to talk to nobody. But then that, uh, that brother becomes the father, right? Then that uncle is somebody's father. I was like, I always yeah, forget I, that that is... The role that it's a secondary role those are secondary roles it's not the primary yeah. role that you experience so i'm always going to be doing it and i call myself that right i'm all chaos i lead i lead but then it's time for me to lead and i'm like nah you niggas do it oh right <laughs> you know what i'm saying and like like y'all are too difficult right but, but it's really right. me not wanting to to find the answer because my ass want to be up in the house playing guitar until i cry because that's my drama is i'm the sad boy guitar player i'm not the dad right? i'm not the dad that's the brand yeah yeah that, that, that encroaches on my sad boy time you know <laughs> personal individual brand not your not your all chaos Exa not exactly all chaos is right. not that yes my no, it's per the personal brand just right just to be clear all right. chaos is not just sad boy it's like completely different yes it's so much more all chaos will kick your ass literally and it's so funny because i made something that's so badass and then i will i'm like i am not worthy of running my own badass creation that's literally <laughs> but venetian vegetables i heard you i hope you just heard what i just fucking said because this is the kind of way you need to slay oh. yourself you need to you need to yes. say shit like this yes you know this is how you yes. get, this is how you get where you want to go for real is like you really got to see where the fuck you play yourself and why and how that shit's dumb as hell it's not mm. It's gonna lead you to be know, real about that shit. Mm. And, it's like, and it's like before I met I, totally I never heard anybody say this, right? I was like, was Malcolm X doing that? And then I, right now I'm comparing. Was Malcolm X doing? Was Malcolm X slaying himself like this? Was, was Martin Luther King? Why? Why? Why I got to do what they didn't have to do? You know, Jesus ain't doing. The, yeah, Jesus ain't doing. Them niggas had resolve. <laughs> Yes, <laughs> Gandhi ain't doing right. I smoke weed and get pussy. Why? Why? They're, them niggas is holier than thou and shit. No, that's that's that. Oh, I smoke weed and get pussy. This is this is, this is this is chaos. Thank you. <laughs> I love it. I heard it and when you said it. Just that sentence. I, it was the clearest I've heard it. That was chaos. <laughs> yeah, yes. I'm like, why I gotta be trying to be like that? And then I realized that that's that's that story I'm putting oh. myself, that old Christian story, mm -hmm. that only a nigga that is of, oh. um, 
of uh, great resolve and mm-hmm. doesn't do bad things and doesn't, you know, like swear upon his spooky enemies. Spooky Buddha. Yeah, Spooky Buddha, exactly. I was like, exactly. oh, I'm never gonna do that. Like Trav, right? And I love Trav. But I was like, you know, like, I was like, nah, I like to fight niggas. Like, I like to beat people up when they look at me in a weird way and shit. Like, like, I ain't never gonna like, and it's not because I can't. I don't care. I don't want to. I do like the drama. That's what, again, that's what I was telling him. I was like, there's a certain part that you realize that is the character you're playing. And I was like, I like the drama. And the other part is I don't like the drama that comes with the character. I only like the drama of being the character. Mm. Mm. So delicious. Oh, God, yes. Like when people start getting mad at me and want to fight me. I'm like, what are you fighting me for? Because you're acting like the villain, nigga. But you don't want nobody to act like the villain towards you. Like, like who is the bad guy? <laughs> right, who the bad guy is if you the villain? <laughs> Right. Some real bad guys walk up. You're like, nah, man. We just play it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not You know, you know how niggas be. You know, like all them fake ass. Oh yeah. Like, oh, I'm the villain. Oh I'm god. Die, you old bitch ass nigga. Like, right. Some niggas really come oh, up. You want to fight? What? How are you gonna act? Like, here's all my money. Like, yeah, you're gonna be a little bitch. Like, and all of us would be if we're out gunned in that situation. There ain't nothing wrong with that, but it's like I'm trying to be a tough guy, I'm trying to be a soft guy at the same time, and those are possible, but you have to admit that. You cannot just fake it and just be like, oh, I'm a soft guy, please don't hurt my feelings, and then I'll be like, well, you know, if you hurt my feelings, I'll turn into a tough guy. Right? 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 Ah! No, you're just faking. Ah! Like, you're just always faking. Ah! Oh! God, Calvin, thank you. Oh my God. I'm going in today, y'all. This is, this I is love it. <laughs> oh, Calvin, I'm, I'm, please share this because I'm taking it off your page and I'm putting it on YouTube. Fuck yeah. I, uh, yeah. I'm, I'm about to edit some shit to it. It's going to be looking yeah, oh, look, Fuck, I love it. Make it look dope. Yeah, hook me up. <laughs> fuck yeah. Put me Hell, yeah I'm telling <laughs> niggas about Pharaoh Tuesday. <laughs> and they can come and have your deck bust on them. Yeah, yo, I was like, I'm busted on my. That's the other thing, cause like, like the shit on myself. I was like, I'm getting busted on. Y'all getting busted on. Like, it's the, it's a party. Right? Not, yeah, I'm not coming out to fuck with y'all. Like, it's not just like I'm slaying oh. myself all day through the whole situation. Everything I'm doing has always like, at least since I jumped on this shit. I remember the first time. I remember the first time I came on. And I was trying to like do what you do, and I was trying to tell niggas about themselves. And you, you checked me. You were like, "Hey, what the fuck are you doing?" Right, trying to be spooky Jesus out here, right? And I was like, I need to. Do that. I was like, I know I want to talk about my experiences. I want to have this live journal because I know the way I'm articulating is hitting niggas like hard. They're like, oh shit, right? So I knew that, but I couldn't figure out an authentic way to do it until I just said, well, this is what the fuck is going on with me this week. Yes. And this is what yes, I have experienced. And the journal. Yeah, and I get myself in the shit. Like, I get myself in the shit essentially for the show at this point. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> like, if I don't have nothing to talk about. My life is your entertainment. Yeah, I was like, if I have shit to talk about this week, if I, don't, if I haven't done nothing, then I have, I have nothing to slay myself with. Oh, yeah. Well, look at this, though. You ain't this shit. You ain't gonna have shit. Yeah. yeah. Right, so I was like, I'm, I'm, I mean, of course, it's not just for drama, but I was like, I'm doing it because if I, if I stay at home and I don't make no mistakes, right, I'm not actually learning shit. I'm just avoiding myself. So when I go out, I'm, you know, like I was telling, oh boy, you gotta be cringe. Like the shit that you're scared about, that you're like, oh, I can't be cringe yeah. and shit like that. I was like, that's who you are. And then these experiences that you're having, you do have to look back and be like, yo, that was some pretty fucked up shit I did, actually. Would you change it? Or are you only thinking about changing it because the motherfucker said something about it? But I wouldn't have changed it before. You got caught. Before. <laughs> yeah, I was like, I was, that's what I was planning on doing the whole time. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah. I, like, I was going to do some asshole ass shit. It wasn't until somebody was like, hey, I don't like that shit. And all of a sudden, I'm like, well, I didn't mean it. Well, that's not what my was. <laughs> Look, first time you ever said this shit at all, right? Yeah. 
Did you asshole shit for like years and it's so all of a sudden that's what you got to say? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, fuck that. I knew what I was doing. I just didn't think it was going to be mad. <laughs> I think I'm getting caught. Yeah, yeah, but now I'm getting caught. I'm like, yeah, I was gonna do that anyway. And I noticed motherfuckers are responding to like, you know what, man? That's chaos. And that's true. If you fuck with it, you fuck with it. If you don't, you don't. He said the bitches might see exactly. But see, that's the yes, trick to right? the more bitches is that they, they want to see you do that authentically chaotic shit. Oh, like when you're living in your they want self. to see you be brave. They want yeah. to see you be strong. Like they want, you gotta be risk. The, the, the most ridiculous nigga. If she sees you being brave and it make her feel some kind of way, stop. She want to see you out there do that thing. Yeah. Hell right. yeah. And oh, oh, shit is okay. I thought I thought this. I thought this. I, I, it was going to go around in my head when I think about what is all chaos. When you said it's a party, it hit me and I couldn't. Like the two were bouncing around and then they just they clicked a minute ago. Oh, chaos. That's like, what I think the brand is, it's a party. Like, that, it is. That's how I feel, about, that's how I feel about all chaos. That's that, that click for me. It's a party. Damn, thanks. Yeah, that's how like, I when I, when last I, year was yeah. like a house party. And I was like, that's the theme. It's always like it's a house party or it's a public party. It's it's just a place to be your authentic self. It's, yeah, it's, yeah, it's like like me when I'm, when I'm actually exposed. Like you said, me being true chaos, being truly your most cringe self and being like this is me this is what it is like that's the fucking all chaos part like yes. oh y'all got fucking yes. oh, y'all got all this y'all got that yes yes we have it all why because that's what a party is you do whatever the fuck you want to do yes. unapologetically and then deal with the consequences like a fucking man or a woman or they them whatever the fuck you are is about yes. accepting the accountability and being like yes i got here because of my actions and i would have done it again is the god's honest it's true mm, really? right, man, you gotta be real if you gotta be real about this shit. hell yeah i'm uh, sorry kevin i'm keeping you i see you outside of your place man i'm just thank you thank you okay no problem and thank all of y'all that came on today that allowed me to continue to do this and and uh, have this experience, and I will see all of you in hell. Get fucked, versus. <laughs>